live, I think. Yeah, all good. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to tonight's webcast. Uh, sorry about that at the beginning there. We didn't know if we were running live or not. I was just jamming away. Um, thank you for tuning in, as always. Um, if you're watching on YouTube at a later point, thank you for tuning in as well here. Um, so tonight is really about looking at some of our valve amplifiers. Uh, the last couple of webcasts that I've done have really concentrated on our digital side of things. So let's get back to tonality, valve, the tradition of uh, amplifiers. And tonight, uh, the main focus is the HT5 combo that we have here ready to go. I have um, a HT1 valve combo here next to it, the little baby brother. And then we have a Club 40. Um, 1 by 12 and then a stage 62 by 12 as part of the venue range. Um, HT5 and 1 sit under that umbrella as well. And tonight is about recreating classic tones um, from anything from the likes of some uh, jazzy blues cleans right through to some classic crunches and onto the, the high gain side of things. And what's interesting for me when I travel around the world, and I've just recently come back from a very successful trip to New Zealand and Australia, is that people are still grasping the concept of what Black Star is all about. And really, the concept, the sound in your head, the motto, is all about giving you, the guitar player, lots of different flavors for your tonal palette, if you like. So to give you the opportunity in one box to go from more classic tones right through to more modern high gain stuff uh, and everywhere in between, hopefully. Of course, features like the ISF, our patent, allows you to get that tonal uh, stack moving around from the UK side to the American side as well. And that features on all of these amps here this evening. Um, so we're going to do a bit of playing, um, a bit of talking about what you can get. So hopefully, um, you know, I won't go on too long with the guitar side of things, but hopefully you'll get some really cool information about this. This kind of video is very useful for you guys that are working in stores also. Um, if I haven't been to see you yet, wherever you are in the world, um, it's good for you guys to kind of get a reminder about some of our fantastic products that are out there in the market. Um, just to talk about the guitar briefly for a sec, um, this is a Music Man Reflex and the cool thing about this is it allows me to just switch between humbuckers and single coil series and parallel switching there so I can get roughly around about 10 sounds out of the guitar so I can get the humbucker thing and the single coil thing. So if there's anybody out there who's watching and they'd like to hear the single coil thing going on with one of the amps, just uh, message us through on the message board there and we'll try and uh, accomplish that for you live while we're here. Um, so, um, firstly I'm plugged into the HT5. Now the HT5 was really a, a, the new sheriff in town and still is if you like in my opinion. Uh, when I used to work in stores, when we used to sell small valve combos, um, there was never anything out there really that would give you a clean and a really high gain. It was always generally just clean, if anything. If you cranked it, it would start to break up a little bit and then it would give you maybe a bit of a crunch sound. So really the HT5 was the first concept that we did as a small amplifier that encompassed that whole high gain thing and it, used, it uses some really interesting stuff going on inside the amp to achieve that innovation if you like. Um, after winning countless awards it's still one of our strongest sellers around the world so I recommend that you, if, if you're after a small valve amp it's definitely the first place to look. So I'm just going to run through some tones with you. Um, the features if you don't or if you don't know, if you're not familiar, we have a clean channel which consists of a volume and a tone. So the tone allows you to find the sweet spot. So all the way off is more of a bass response, all the way on is more of a treble response. And then the volume zero to, to 10. Uh, we then have an overdrive channel or a crunch channel. Uh, and that allows us now to have a three band EQ and the Blackstar ISF feature. So we can get anything from the British woody tones right through to the, the high gain modern American side of things. There's also a digital reverb in all of the amps that are behind me. Now Blackstar deemed the digital reverb to be more useful for the, the high gain overdrive guy. Um, with a spring reverb it usually gets a little messy. I don't know if anybody out there has noticed that, but I certainly used to when I used to have a, a valve amp with uh, a crunch and a, a true spring reverb. It, it wasn't very useful. I used to use a pedal on the floor. We find that these are very useful, so that's interesting for you to know. And we'll come to more details about that with the bigger stuff. 
Um, so let's play through some clean stuff on the HT5R. So this is my first sound and we've got the volume pushed around about halfway and the tone we've got around about 10 o'clock to give us more, slightly more of a bass response. <laughs> nice, really useful, uh, lovely, warm, lush, clean, but let me take you someplace else within that same channel. And this is really kind of unique, so bear with me one second. So just a little bit of a tweak on the volume and the EQ, pushing that treble, and now we're in the realms of that boutique, just on the edge break up clean. <laughs> Take that reverb out of the mix, so we can hear more of the natural sound of the amp. funk going on there um, but you can really feel that change we went from that warm luscious clean to that really kind of on the edge <laughs> Mistakes are free. Um, so yeah, I mean, two really interesting clean tones there from one channel. It's not often that you can get many amps to give you that, and that's in our 5 watt, and that exists throughout Blackstar products, right to our Series 1 range, through to Artisan, right down towards our digital stuff. The versatility is there, and I encourage you to find that when you try stuff, and you're in the store, check it out. Um, Okay, so if we push that volume all the way, we're definitely now in that crunch rhythmic area. So, you know, this kind of sound. Clean it up. reverb into the mix, give it some uh, ambience. Really cool. Now if we go over to the overdrive channel, we can start where we left off with that tone. So we're just going to change channel, bear with me. Okay, so this is more of a, a lower gain setting on the second channel. So we've, I've, got, I've actually got my gain roughly around about seven o'clock, somewhere around there. Um, so it's giving me the nice bluesy feel. Currently I've got the ISF set to the British side, so it's a very muddy kind of... Cool, 
great rock rhythm, great for blues, you know. Really smooth, man, really cool. Push that gain stage. Some more of a kind of 80s, 90s period rock and roll sound, hard rock thing. Um. Really nice, really smooth. Um, so now let's look at something like the, the high gain USA style. Um, I can see my brother Grant trying to get my attention. I just want to know what, um, using single coil or sure, yeah. I mean, just for the high gain stuff, I generally switch to humbucker to give it a bit more grunt. But let me show you, there's not a lot of difference really. I'll switch between single coil and humbucker on a similar lick if that's going to work for you. Here we go. So. so, firstly, humbucker, yeah? Single. Massive difference, but it's all in the feel in the moment, of course. If you'll know that if you've got different styles of guitars, but you know, of course, either one has their own particular beauty. You know, it's cool, cool, cool guitar, unique, but you know, you can get the fat kind of strat with a humbucker on the bridge, you can get Les Pauls these days that are coiled, all, so, all sorts of stuff to help you guys out. Um, so, we've gone from that British woodier kind of high gain thing, 80s, 90s rock thing. Um, and let's go over to the American kind of mid scoop, ISF over to the US to get that change. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear that difference there. It's more of a mid scoop sound, more grunt to it. Pretty cool. And that's the HT5. There's lots of stuff going on under the hood as well. We've got really cool speaker out options. We've got an effects loop on there. We've got an emulated line out. Um, just to name a few things, MP3 in, all sorts of stuff. So for a small valve amp, it's really great. It's unique for a recording. You can even gig with it, I mean, within reason. If the PA is really good, really pumping, you can send an emulated feed from your HT5 into the mixer. You can pump it through the front air, have some feedback through the wedge. You can even put a mic in front of it as well. Take up a second channel on the mixer and have a mix of that blender too. The possibilities are endless. I do it myself with a HT5 when I'm doing some function gigs and stuff like that. Really cool. And of course, it's nice and light. So, onto the HT1. Let me just briefly move the microphone around. So, bear with me a second. Hopefully, we can do this. Okay, so now we should get some info and some action on the HT1. Now again, similar vibe. You'll see on this, if you look at the front panel, 
there's an overdrive select button. But in outside of that is a gain and a volume. So you still have the clean options, but also you can drive that clean as well. So I'll run through this pretty quick. Um, we've got a decent amount of reverb on there. Overdrive select out, this is clean. Nice clean warm-esque kind of thing going on. If I push the gain stage there, bring the volume down, we're still on the clean channel. Boutique thing, that early breakup, really cool, great for blues and stuff. This is a HT1, perfect if you're living in a small apartment, um, you know, a small house, maybe you've got a young child, maybe you've got neighbours that are banging on the wall. You know, the HT1's really cool. You can get that valve tone, that sustain that only a valve can give you in a small one watt combo, pretty cool. Onto the overdrive channel now. So if I bring the gain back, we can now start to look where we left off. <laughs> Jangly, indie style, just on the edge break. <laughs> and then we can push it harder. So currently I've got my ISF on the British side here. If I bring it over to the US side, give it more gain, and again we're back in the realms of the... Pretty versatile for a little one watt combo, hey. So, onto the bigger stuff. Just gonna move this mic stand out of the way. Okay, so, Club 40. One of our most popular combos. It's a one by 12. Um, we've got two channels. We have individual voicing switches in between those channels to give us distinctly different voices, as we've already discussed. We've got the warm clean for that full-bodied modern sound, the bright clean for the boutique thing, that breakup of a clean sound uh, for the old school rock and roll stuff. And then we've got our crunch channel or, or overdrive channel with a voicing switch as well, which will give us a classic crunch and then an up-to-date modern high gain. Complete with, as we looked at on the HT5, three band EQ for the overdrive channel and ISF for the overdrive channel. The clean again has one single tone control. Some unique features about the venue stuff is the reverb, again, it's a digital circuit, but there's two choices. Let me try and ask you this, is there any amps that you know of apart from this that will give you two choices of reverb, two cleans, two crunches within a two channel product? Not many, so think about that kind of stuff. And Black Star are very passionate about giving new guitar players all those flavours, you know, to choose. So on here, let's uh, get this amp burning. So we can look at something which is clean. Currently my voicing switch is in, which is clean warm. Louder than the one what now. So wherever you push that, it's generally going to remain clean. Um, low end. Absolutely awesome if you're sticking pedals through the front there, or multi-effects. Really great clean channel. Blackstar pride ourselves on the clean. 
What can happen often if you get amplifiers that are concentrated on that high gain thing is that the clean gets left behind and a good clean is really useful um, for the pedal thing, for recording, for live work. Um, so it's great to have that and if you watch a lot of our endorsement videos from all our artists around the world that use Black Star, Venue, Series 1 Artisan, they often mention the clean thing which is a big deal. Um, so let's go from that warm clean to the bright clean thing. So within a couple of quick turns, I'll hopefully take you there. So the clean thing. We're still on the clean channel there. We can back that volume off to clean it up a little bit. You know, a really cool boutique just on the edge. We can still roll our volume back and clean up there. Single coil sound. Very much that cool Stevie Ray Vaughan kind of thing going on there, you know? really useful uh, and that's bright clean two gorgeous clean so on to overdrive I've got the voicing switch out here so we're more in the old school area so <laughs> to the high gain side of things. Switch in. Gain. SF USA. Listen to that change. Still on a single coil set in there. Let's get the humbucker running. Really great. Let's look at the reverbs. Two choices. Let me just feel around the back of the amp. It's all about knowing where to go, eh? <laughs> Clean. What I'm going to do to demonstrate this, which is a really good way of doing it, is crank the reverb up to a level where it's kind of a bit too much, but you can really hear the trails change. So at the moment, we're more of a dark reverb. Light. That change. So the trail is where the change happens. Light being more shimmering. Modern, dark. 
bit dimmer. Pretty cool. Great option to have that. Um, the Stage 60 behind us here, interestingly, if I just turn the amp back on, one of the cool things about our venue range is that I can plug the lead in and out and it automatically goes into standby, it recognises the amps in standby. Really cool feature. So, nasty pops. Really quite cool. Um, onto the Stage 60, this is a bit of a monster. 2x12, we now have three channels. Um, all the usual stuff that you would expect on the reverse, effects loops, speaker out, emulated out. But now we have some master controls, resonance and presence control. So they override the EQ. So really I'd look at those master controls as being uh, more of a dedicated a sonic control for your sound depending on the room you're playing in. So for that sonic purity of playing in a small bar, low ceiling, you can really kind of push that presence for the, the place that's maybe got a high ceiling, wooden floors, um, lots of glass windows, you can push that resonance to really work the room, but your EQ can still remain the same. Um, so now we have clean channel, but this time we have bass and treble. Uh, with a voicing switch again for our warm clean and bright clean, really useful. Overdrive 1 has its own voicing switch, Overdrive 2 has its own voicing switch. So in this instance, let's just uh, alter the mic for a second. Yeah. Good question, let's try it. So we're just going to try if the lead is completely... <coughs> no. So you still get a bit of that click. So really the standby switch is needed to, on, on, to move around on that one. Uh, the way you can tell is that when you plug the lead back in, there's a small pause and then it kicks back in. But HT stage, bigger stuff, definitely on it. Okay, so now we've got this baby running. I'm going to show you something that, you know, you can have your clean. Um, so let's just get that right. That's a really nice sound actually. I'm just going to play a little bit of music from one of our endorsees, Neil Sean. It's a music called 3191, just a little snippet of it, but a nice clean sound. It's really well for it, a luscious reverb. Pleasant to play, really musical. Um, so we can go from something like a clean warm like that onto the overdrive channel. We can bring that game back to be more of a kind of classic. Back. Overdrive crunch tone. Then we can really push things a lot harder on OD2. Um, 
um, our ISF on the British side there. So of course we can manipulate that. We don't have to go all the way hard right, hard left. The beauty of Black Star is that that ISF can be your own sound. Let me put this to you. Um, you could have um, the same two guitar players in the same band, the same axe, the same amp, and you could sound so different. And that's really unique. Have the same gear, and not that it would happen, but not much anyway. But you could have the same gear and sound distinctly different depending on how the amp is set up, and that's what Black Star is all about, giving you as the guitar player loads of different flavour, you know? Um, and everybody's got their own taste, their own style of guitar, their own playing, of course, and this should hopefully suit every style. Um, often Black Star get put into the whole kind of uh, metal genre, if you like, but we're, we're everything. You know, we do amps that work for the metal guys and the same amp will work for the country guys over in Nashville. Really cool. I mean, if you look into the the brand, it's it's all about that. It's versatility, you know. Um, so, I mean, that's that's really it for this evening. I mean, we've gone over a little bit, but I've got a few things to discuss. Some really exciting things, in fact. So, I'm just going to put the guitar down for a moment, if you don't mind. Um, but yeah, I hope that's been a bit more of an insight for you um, as regards, you know, some some of our HT venue products, because you know the. That's our, that's our heritage, if you like, and, and what we do, you know, valve amps. The digital thing has obviously had a big push recently. We've got some really cool products for the beginners and the, 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 the pro guys that want the digital side of things. Things like ID series and ID core for the smaller stuff. But really, this is, this is where we, we began, and I encourage you to try the valve stuff because it re really gives you so many options. Excuse me one second while I grab my iPad. So. Got some exciting stuff going on. Uh, there's a brand new competition. Woo! Everywhere is a venue. The competition starts on Monday the 1st of September. So really around the corner. And the prizes are ultra cool, okay? This is what you can win. You can win a HT Venue 100 stack, a full stack. That's a 100 watt head part of the same range as this, you've got very similar features to this one we were just discussing, on top of two 4x12s. You want to be the envy of your friends, this is the competition for you. It's a wicked amp and a great setup to get you gigging and playing live with some cool, ultra cool tones. So that's the first prize, a HT Venue Stage 100 full stack. And also there's a prize to win the chance to be in a Black Star Global advertisement, which is pretty cool. In all the magazines all around the world, pretty cool for your band, you know, some notoriety for you. You can say, yeah, that's me in the Black Star advert. Um, there are also some cool prizes for the runners up as well. So to enter, all we need is a picture of you, you, with your Black Star amp in a venue. That's it. So you need to already have a Black Star amp. We just need you to send a picture through to us with the amp in a venue and obviously the more wacky it might be, you never know, you might win. Um, but of course if you want to be deadly serious with your gear, as most musos are, so be it. So you can enter through the website blackstaramps.com or you can tag us through Instagram and Facebook, that kind of thing, so you can enter there as well. And it runs from obviously Monday the 1st of September until the 31st of October, Halloween. So get to it, it's a really, really great competition and it's available to anyone around the world as well, which is really cool. So if you're watching elsewhere, get on it, get some pictures to us with your Black Star. It doesn't matter what amplifier it is from Black Star, but it needs to be in the picture with you at a venue. Pretty cool. Also, some really good news about our Black Star Potential website. Uh, this is a website that actually hosts a ton of lessons, free online lessons from the likes of myself, Gus G, Ozzy Osbourne and Firewind Notoriety, Jamie Humphreys, some other really cool endorsees around the world. And there's loads of beginner lessons on there right through to kind of intermediate through to pro end, high, high energy stuff. So. This was normally only available for the ID guys. If you had an ID amp, you had access to the potential website, but now it's open to everyone. So, you know, if you're maybe looking for some basic lessons, you know, things like the difference between digital and valve amps, how to get a good tone, 
uh, in a little bit more detail. Um, we want to encourage people to learn to play guitar and if you've ever thought about learning this is the perfect opportunity for you to achieve the goal. Um, with some self-belief and our help we can get you there, that's what it's all about. We want to see rock and roll, we want to see new bands, new guitar players making noise and using Black Star, you know, it's pretty cool. Also um, there's an insider update coming very soon which is a huge one. Um, if you're an owner of an ID amp, um, there's big news coming your way, um, it's pretty cool, so I can't tell you much more than that right now, but keep an eye out, and if you haven't already downloaded Insider, it's free to download. Um, you don't necessarily need an amplifier to use one section of it, which is a phrase trainer. The phrase trainer is really fun, you can import an MP3 file, you can slow it down and it will still stay in the same pitch, you can select an A and a B marker to loop one section. Let's say, for example, if you're learning a lead lick or a you know, the intro to a song, and of course you can put your backing tracks in there and jam along, slow them down, perfect for students, perfect for teachers, that kind of thing. So that one feature you can use without, the, without owning an amplifier, you just need some sort of output from your computer. Um, but it's free to download, so get on it. It's a freebie from us. Um, of course, if you do own an ID amplifier, watch this space, there's some really cool stuff coming. Um, also, we'd like to mention our current cashback offer, which is a pretty cool deal. Um, it's currently in the UK only, um, but we're offering £45 cashback on any amplifier over 45 watts. But also we're doing a £25 cashback offer on cabs as well, on a 4x12, so £70 off to get you playing. If you're looking for an amp, £70 off, like that great deal. So get in to see your local Black Star stockist wherever you are around the British Isles and try some gear and if you're in the market man you got £70 off straight away. All the details are on the website and in store as well. Um, globally our distributors are looking into incentives as well so um, to get you guys playing Black Star. Uh, and there will be like a rebate in the USA shortly. Uh, our American partners will be announcing some information about that very soon. So, I mean, that's it for this evening, folks. Um, all that information at the end there, I hope you got it. Obviously, if you're on YouTube, press rewind. Um, and, you know, get to it. it. As Arnold Schwarzenegger would say, get to it now! Do it! Come on! Get on it! Win yourself some Black Star. But listen, thanks for watching, as always. I've been Steve, product trainer here at Black Star, and I'll see you out on the road, hopefully. And uh, keep it loud, get into your stores, support your local dealers, keep rocking. Thank you.